Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the gingerbread skin from Fortnite. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw in a circle. Starting from the very top, we'll work our way around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we'll line up the top of the circle. Now just above the eyes, we're going to add the eyebrows. So we're going to draw an angled line, starting from the outside, come down, and then in. We'll take that and flip it over on the right. So let's line up the inside, go up, and then out. Now on the ends of the eyebrow, we just want to round this out. Starting from the top, we'll just round this out and pull it back in. Do the opposite on the inside. Now I'm going to connect the tops with a straight line. Below the eyes, we're going to add a large mouth. So I'm going to start with the top curve. Starting from the left, we'll curve up, and then back down on the right side. I'm going to round out the corners of the mouth, bring this around, and we'll pull that in. Now I'm going to take these two points and connect it with a curve going up. Now let's trace out the inside of the mouth. I'm just going to follow the same curves, starting with the top, Round out the corners of the mouth, and come up in the middle, and then connect the right side. Now we're going to move up and draw the top edge of the mask. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Now I want to connect the tops of the mask coming down below the chin. So let's start on the left, we're going to curve out, bring it around the mouth, and then down towards the chin. I'm going to work my way back up towards the right side. Now the mask sits on top of the head, so I'm going to start on the left side. We're going to step in and draw almost like a half circle, going up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Along the top of the mask, I want to add a little bit of frosting. So from the corner, we're going to step down and just draw a series of curves coming down and up. We're going to continue this pattern all the way across towards the right side. Now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to start with the sides of the body first. So on the left side, I'm going to curve out and then down towards the hip. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve for the lower part of the belt, coming down in the middle. Now I'm going to take that same curve and duplicate it right up above. Let's add a little bit of detail to the belt. So I'm going to leave a gap in the center. On the left, I'll draw a straight line. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're going to add two belt loops on either side. So two straight lines down side by side. Now we're going to add the strap that goes across the body. So I'm going to take the top corner of the belt and the top shoulder and connect it with a curve. Now I'm going to step in and do the same curve going across. Now we're going to add some candy stripes going across here. So in an angle, start from the top, come down. Now we want to leave an even space gap all the way to the top. Just below the chin in the center, we're going to add the bow tie. So we're going to start with a circle. From the top left, we'll draw a straight angle line going up, and then up on the right. Now at the bottom of the circle, we're going to go down. Now let's connect the top and bottom with a curve. Now directly below the bow tie, I'm going to add a circle for a button. Now this is going to get tucked in behind the strap. And then just below the strap, we'll add another circle for the bottom button. Let's add a small square pocket on the right side. So we'll start with a straight line going across, come down the sides, and then connect the bottom. Now we're going to draw in the flap. From these two top corners, we'll connect it with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's add in the shoulder straps. From the side of the body, we're going to step out, curve out, 
and then pull that in about halfway down the body. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'll add two simple buckles, two lines, one above the other. Now let's continue working down with the legs. In the middle, I'm gonna step down and draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down for the lower torso. On the left, we're gonna step in, curve out, and then down towards the left heel. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we'll curve down and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right, making sure that the feet are the same length. Now from the toe, I wanna to curve the top of the foot in towards the heel, but we're gonna stop about halfway, curving down and in. From here, we're gonna angle up and in. Now we're gonna follow that same curve of the top of the foot, going out. Now we're gonna draw an angled line coming down on top of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the top of the foot, curving around, aiming towards the heel. Draw a short angled line going up and in. Now we're gonna go across, following that same curve to the outside of the foot. Now we'll angle down and out towards the top of the foot. Now we're gonna thicken up the sole. So we're gonna take the curve of the bottom foot and just duplicate that right up above. Now from these straps, we're gonna add two short straps coming down and in. So from these two corners, we're gonna step in, draw two angle lines coming down towards the heel. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's add the shin guard. From this top corner, we're gonna draw a straight line going up on both sides. Now we're gonna come in with a short line, across the top. We're gonna to angle down and in. And we're gonna pull it straight down on top of the strap. Now let's go back up towards the hip. We're gonna curve the side of the leg coming down on top of the shin guard. And then from the shin guard, we're gonna add a strap going in towards the inside of the leg. From the corner, we're gonna step down, a straight line, we'll draw that twice. Now we're gonna add some frosting along the bottom of the belt. So we're gonna take that same curve, step down. Now we're gonna add a wavy line on the inside. Starting from the hip, curve up, down, and just repeat this all the way across. Now we're gonna take that curve and just duplicate it right up above. Let's add a little bit more frosting along the thigh. Starting from the inside of the right leg, just gonna draw a wave going across. We'll step down and draw that same thing. Do you take, we're gonna take that and flip it over on the right. Starting from the outside of the leg, and then just below it. On the side of the hip, we're gonna add the edge of the pocket. So on the inside, we're gonna curve down and out towards the left, and out towards the right. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start at the bottom of the strap, we're gonna curve out, and then down towards the wrist, on both sides. Now back on the left side, we're gonna draw on the thumb. So it's a half circle, coming in, and back out. We're gonna connect the bottom thumb to the wrist with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Drawing the thumb first. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve. Now back on the left side, at the bottom of the thumb, we'll draw the first finger, coming around, and then back up. At the bottom of this finger, we're gonna go out again and pull that up. Now the third finger, we're gonna go around and then pull that up underneath the head, just beside the strap. Let's do the same thing on the right. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll go around and up. At the bottom of the finger, we're gonna draw the second finger going up. Now on the side of this finger, we're gonna curve the third finger going all the way around. Now we're gonna bring this up all the way underneath the head. Now let's separate out the glove along the fingers. From this first finger, we're gonna curve down and up towards the thumb. Separate out the second finger and then the third. Now we're gonna draw on the edge of the glove. From the inside of the wrist, we're gonna curve out and up. We're gonna take that curve and just duplicate that right up above. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now 
Let's add some frosting along the arm. Starting from the outside, we're gonna draw a wave going all the way around to the inside. Now we're gonna duplicate that just above. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside of the arm. And then we'll duplicate that right up above. Now one last thing we're gonna do is add the green strap along the top of the left arm. Starting from the outside, we'll curve down and then in. Duplicate that right up above. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the gingerbread skin from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.